Welcome back to NGTV Play Super Smash Bros. Melee. Feature myself, Spencer, my co-host, Matt. I'm playing as Sam. Spencer's playing as Falco. We're here live on Twitch.tv slash Anathal Gaming TV. Anathal. Uh, midway through, we'll be doing a best of five with some slippy stats. Do me a favor and extend that leg for me so I can kick it. Aww. I wanted to fast fall and then let go, but I held. I just realized that uh, Samus doesn't seem to have the problem with getting stuck on that on that ledge. It's like too slippery or some shit. Problem there is you played pretty lazy. You no, know, at least it's coming back most of the time now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm got gunk in my eye. Like I said, it's nice that it at least it comes back once in a while now. Yeah, man, it's really positive that, like, it really, it, it, like, tries hard to recover and does. One of my favorite things about this is that nowadays it seems like it recovers. I'm so confident I'm actually just doing this because I know eventually it'll work, you know. All right. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I wish I understood why that happens. It's because I'm like codes on codes on codes. Yeah. I mean, just like in general, though, like, like what specifically makes that happen from a coding? Well, it's because I have 20XX on top of Slippy. Oh, I, I know that. I'm saying like, like deeper, deeper than that, you know, like. But that would require us to like know some computer science shit, I'm sure. That was sick. It was by yeah. accident, but it was sick.
No, oh, I knew that was coming too. Too high. not what I wanted at all. I tried to up be there. And I was like, um, you want to shoot homing missile? Like, no, no, no. Well, I'm shoot. You gave the command. Check it. Oh, it's like it's like both my things went just above and just below where you were going. Call oh, that the mid left. Thing.
He hit me with a fucking laser. Did I? I think so. Yeah. Either that or just fucked it up, but. For a brief moment in that game, both of our APMs went to like 500. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I shall ban this stage and this stage. All right. So, best of five. Game one, battlefield. I messed up my plan. Oh, I thought maybe I set up the shine mine. I went crazy. Well, why didn't what? You didn't have a jump. No, I, I I tried to do another bomb and like it didn't do it. I guess I just didn't press the button right. you're having some controller issues and yeah, my hands are like fucking evil dead hands right now they're not listening to me oh hi mark oh hi mark Reason they're not listening to me. I did not board smash. I did not. Oh, fuck. Uh, okay, Dreamland. Game two.
my shine I didn't actually even get stuck in my shine I didn't even try to get out of the shine call that the vacation shine fucking damn it done two games right mm -hmm. all right fod game three That's right, you take that 3% damage. You roll part of the way up. God. This episode, you absolutely destroyed me. I mean, I wouldn't say destroy. You definitely destroyed me. Nah. All right, let's not beat around the bush, dude. I just don't like the word destroy. I don't like it either, but it's true. <laughs> like, you did everything right. 
even when I was doing stuff that was as, as ostensibly correct, right? It didn't matter. It didn't matter what I did. You consistently avoided the urge to jump out of shield so that you could shield against my nair trying to call out your jump out of shield. I only hit you with a jump out of shield nair once the whole fucking episode. Like literally like did everything correct. And I'm not saying that I was playing super well. I wasn't playing terribly though. Like I I had some weird you know, towards the end I had some weird like button hand desync, but really that was just you know, it's it that's not the main reason why I lost. Yeah. Felt like I was playing pretty good. I wanna say you were playing a perfect game against Samus. At least against my Samus. Yeah, like I felt like I couldn't breathe the whole time. And yeah, I was like getting a lot of conversions. Oh my god, you connected everything. Like I couldn't and you would you would wait and in time your your up tilt perfectly so you wouldn't get nared on my way back down like a lot of time you did like every time like every time it just worked and like even when i tried to avoid and like not try to nair you you would come up with something else to hit me with so it's like even if i tried not to just like hit you on the way down like it didn't matter and then i get like a like a nice like a little treat like a like a a little sweet uh, bit of brownie in the middle of a kale salad of like hitting you with like a a, a missile off stage and, it, and then I, I I'd be like all right sick cool I know there's brownies in here somewhere but it's just a pile of kale <laughs> and I'm just searching and it's like I got one where's the other one I know it's here and then the kale turns and looks at me and says no 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 sweets for you. You're on a diet. A dare diet. Yeah, and I was like, I was trying to DI stuff. I, I, you know, I'm not gonna say I did it perfectly, but I, you know, there were situations where I did DI it, and you still followed up. You like reacted to my DI. Like this is like like I've been beating this crazy before. How's it going, Thriller? Um, but usually like. My thoughts are, man, I wasn't playing very well, and like I just fucked up everything. But like, literally, you were just like you outpaced everything that I was doing. It's crazy. All right, so let's get into this analysis here. What analysis could be done? Which is Matt four stocked me game one, battlefield two minutes and twenty five seconds. You rolled six times, air dodge once. I rolled once, air dodge three times. Uh, you had fifteen which ones. I had four. You had two counters. I had seven. We both had two wavelands. Your inputs were 320, mine were 268. You came with a back air, neutral B, neutral B, and then a down air. Um, you had a 108% combo on my first stock right out the gate in the first 18 seconds. Uh, 14 moves. I think it's probably up in the upper echelon of amounts of moves that you could do. I think most of it was lasers. Not most of it, but like... like I Some of them were probably lasers. Yeah, I think a few of them were lasers. Um... And then you didn't have a big combo. It's the last one where you had 56% combo on my last stock. Game two, Dreamland. I took two stocks. Uh, two minutes and 49 seconds. You hit me with the old 2-2-2. Two, two, two. It's when you have uh, uh, two Terrans on a team. They all go 1-1-1. One, one, one. Yep. Simple and, math. And I had a 1-8-0. That's when you have one Zerg try to eight pool two Terran and you know what that just doesn't work that just doesn't work <laughs> it doesn't work you, you know maybe you'll succeed against one one maybe but teams are close to each other usually on those maps so it's mm -hmm. like uh you got I got SCV'd hard um you had 13 inch ones I had eight you had seven counter I had five uh you had three wave wave dance um your total actions were 14 uh 
you know, like a really nice even spread. It's very rare that your wave lines are almost as much as your other options. Um, I had four wave lines though, but you know, I'm not trying to brag. Uh, your inputs were 309. She's real fine. And um, my uh, inputs were 292. You come with the down air, a forward smash, a back air, and then a down air. I could do the down smash and then a forward smash. You had a 40% combo on my first stock. I had a 38% combo on your first stock. So there. But you see, I took your first stock at a minute 38, and you took my first stock at 26 seconds. So there's a little bit of a discrepancy there. Um, on my second stock, you had a 49% combo followed by an 80% combo followed by a 44% combo. Um, on your second stock, I had a 47% combo. So basically the same. And then on my third stock, you had a 53% combo followed by a 46. And then on my last stock, you had an 85% combo. It's just not a good melee day for me at all. Um, Final Dreams, game three, two minutes and 41 seconds. I took one stock. Yay. Um, you rolled four times, air dodge three times, spot dodge once. I rolled once and air dodge four times. You had 14 inch ones. I had six. You had 10 counter I had 11. No wave lines for you. Again. This is like, this is the weirdest set of numbers I've ever seen in my life. 38 wave dashes, one wave line, two dash dance. It's just... I don't dash dance with fucking. Well, I know, Samus. but what it's I'm so saying weird. is, it's just it's such a bigger number compared to yeah the other two. Yeah, it's either zero or you know, fifty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. It, again, you had four wave dashes and five dash dances, no wave lands, and you know why? It's because you're up in the air pillaring me. Also, it's Founder Dreams. It's you, true. I would be pillaring. Um. Your inputs were 307, mine were 297. You come with the neutral air, neutral B, a forward smash, and a forward smash. And I could do the four tilt. You had a 54% combo on my second stock, and then a 67 on my last. All right, I'm going to try to learn from this. And not dismiss it entirely, because I was just thinking about people talk about you learn the most from when you lose, right? Your losses. And you'd think I would be a fucking sage of melee by now. Yeah, but, but I, you have to put effort into it. Yeah, well, that's what I'm trying to do right I know. now. So for these games, I know that I wasn't playing perfectly. Um, Like, what was I like? What do you think I was missing? What wasn't I doing enough? I definitely feel like I need to get better at up uh up be at a shield because i'm terrible at it i tried to up be a lot and i would just uh tap jump out of it and then get hit um because i try to utilize it more more often to mitigate your pressure um which is not standard falco pressure you watch any falco and they run up and like you know maybe down air shine multi shine uh you know or or whatever and you you come up and just like you might down air shine but then you're like immediately grab. You grab way more than a lot of Falcos, I think. Yeah, I've been trying to grab more. It sucks too because usually you grab more as Fox, and then when you switch to Falco, you don't grab. And I and I have a wave of relief because at least all I have to think about is just your lasers, and then I know that when you get to my shield, I can do things. <laughs> Not any. Um, but yeah, I mean, can you think of anything like I mean, glaring? I kept trying to do the. Same setups you had for Fox, which the jab down smash, and that doesn't work. Like at all? Not on Falco. I I mean, we've, this is like the 15th time we talked about it. Have we really talked about specifically jab down smash not working on Falco? Yep. I legitimately think that I remember maybe once before now that you mention it, but I did not realize that we've had this so many conversations about it. Um... So what should I do instead? I don't know. I'm not a Samus main. You have Forward Smash? Oh, it's it's the jab part that's it's not working. It's the jab. Yeah. Probably because Falco doesn't fast as fall. Doesn't fast as, he doesn't fast as fall. He doesn't fall as fast as Fox, so... I have no idea. Because usually the... I just get sent further. Hmm. Okay. That sucks, too, because, like, tossing that jab is... Nifty, but I guess what it, what it comes down to is I can I can still jab. It's just don't expect 
a down smash to connect. Like I need to do something else. Cause you know, I use the jab as like a, an interrupt or a, you know, a stutter. Um, so I can like just give myself like a, a chance to do something. I could probably jab dash attack. One of the few times that I can, I mean, Samus's dash attack is pretty good when it can connect. Um, Yeah. Anything else you can think of? Um, I mean, if when you power shield the laser, the only thing you ever do is dash attack. I just shield it. That one's kind of disappointing because I know I have I have used other options in the past. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. What would be the best option in that situation? I guess if 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 I dash attack, I mean, it's, there's not like a it. best option. There's no, a no, mix yeah. up. What's what's a good option? I guess what's an, what's another good option? And grab. I, yeah, I was I was just thinking if I if I think that you're going to shield, that I can probably grab. And I guess just getting out of combos, I just I really need to focus on di. I just need to di, and tech mix up my techs as much as I can. Coming up off the ledge is always a challenge. I feel like I have an easier time with Samus than I do with Marth coming up off the ledge. Because um, I think Samus is just slipperier and can like wave dash in faster. Um, uh, and and Marth just seems to get hit. <laughs> um, am I thinking about ledge options? Like when I'm on the ledge, am, like I feel like I'm thinking about it entirely wrong because either you're just really good at covering all options. You, like, but like well, out of the three options that you pick, because I feel like those are the only, like you I, never come up with a nair. Should I be coming up with nair? I mean, this is like the 18th time we talked no, about no, this. No, I, I I know that, and I have come up with nair in the past, but I continue to do forward air, and I think. And again, it's situational. Right. But like, okay, so let me. Let me give you a situation. When you are um, not right up on the ledge, but you're a little bit back and you're set up for either forward smashing me if I go to get up or if I roll forward smashing me the other direction, like that setup, what do you think is a good option for me there? I mean, probably aerial interrupt. Like, like, uh, down smash. Re grab the ledge, aerial interrupt. Yeah. Okay. Because in those situations, I'll see it and I'm like... I mean, unless I'm at a high percent, then you can come up with an error and it'll break crouch, cancel. Mm. Yeah, it's true. You feel like I just haven't been crouch canceling recently too? As no, much? Or, really. or or is it that you've just come up with things to work around it so it like negated it kind of? Dare beats crouch cancel. Which is crazy because like, as Falco, that's like great news. It's like, oh, sick. Dare, my favorite move. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm just I'm trying to get some better thoughts in my brain. Name for the episode? Um, total Annihilation. Sure. All right, so we're going to call some episode for those of you on the stream. We're not going to find just yet. We have a timer in the bottom left, so we can turn these into episodes for YouTube. So stick around. We have another episode coming up after this. For those of you on YouTube, check us out live on twitch.tv slash TV. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.